Friends star Matthew Perry sadly died aged 54 after reportedly suffering a cardiac arrest in his hot tub. The iconic comedy actor was found unconscious in his L.A. home on Saturday, with emergency services called at 4 07 p. M. to be told the star had suffered a cardiac arrest before arrive at his home to find him dead in his jacuzzi. The actor, best known for playing Chandler Bing, had not long arrived back home from playing a round of pickleball, a mashup of tennis, badminton and ping pong, and had sent his assistant out to run an errand, according to TMZ. The report states it was the same assistant who returned to find the 54-year-old unresponsive just two hours later. Perry was believed to be single and focusing on his sobriety at the time of his death. Throughout the years his love life was a little rocky at times, with rumored ties to big stars, such as Yasmin Bleeth and Julia Roberts, as well as failed engagement and an apparently huge crush on co-star Jennifer Aniston. Here is a look back at the star's difficult love life, as writes The Mirror. Jennifer Aniston Matthew admitted that he was smitten from the moment he met Jennifer Aniston. I was immediately taken by her, how could I not be? And liked her, and I got the sense she was intrigued too, maybe it was going to be something, he wrote in his recent autobiography, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. Jennifer was the first person Matthew called after landing his role in Friends. However, the star quickly realized his eagerness may have been a mistake, writing, I could feel ice forming through the phone, he wrote. Looking back, it was clear that this made her think I liked her too much or in the wrong kind of way. However, Matthew was not embarrassed but instead went on to ask his new co-star on a date, I only compounded the error by then asking her out, he continued. Jennifer, declined, which made it very difficult to actually go out with her, but said that she'd love to be friends with me, and I compounded the compound by blurting, we can't be friends. The pair sat down for their first friends read in 1994, with Mott's feelings continuing to linger once filming began. The star admitted this made the pair's conversations awkward at times as he crushed badly on his co-star. I'd ask myself, how long can I look at her? Is three seconds too long? However, by the time Jennifer started date a Hollywood star Brad Pitt in 1998, Matthew said he had long since gotten over her and was able to behave and chat with her normally. The actor said success of the show coupled with her deafening lack of interest eventually cured him and they became lasting friends. Jennifer was always one to be upfront with Matthew, confronting him about his drinking and heavy drug use while filming Friends. The actor explained that this was something he was eternally grateful for as it forced him to face the situation, in turn saving his life at this point. Matthew recalled how Jennifer told him, We know you're drinking. Imagine how scary a moment that was, he said. She was the one who reached out the most, you know. I'm really grateful to her for that. Julie Roberts Matthew wrote in his autobiography, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, about his three-month relationship with Julie Roberts. The Friends star started dating the actress following her guest appearance on the show in 1995, with Matthew detailing their fiery fling in his book. Matthew said he sent Julia three dozen red roses after finding out the actress said she would only take part in the show if her the storyline involved Chandler Bing. He said, following a five-hour phone call, Julia turned up at his door and a relationship began. Just three months later, Matthew says he dumped the Hollywood star over fears he was certain she was going to break up with him. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. 
Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select join community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click join community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose exit group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. Failed engagement Matthew was engaged to Molly Hurwitz, a literacy manager, in 20,220. Matthew shared his joy with People magazine at the time, hailing Molly the greatest woman on the face of the planet. I decided to get engaged, he said, luckily, I happen to be dating the greatest woman on the face of the planet at this time. Sadly, they split just seven months later. In a statement released to People, the Friends star said, Sometimes things just don't work out and this is one of them, I wish Molly the best. Yasmin Bleeth Chandler Bing has a bit of an obsession with Baywatch and Friends. And the link was apparent off-screen too, with Matthew Perry reportedly dating one of the program's stars, Yasmin Bleeth. According to Page Six, the pair were an item following his fling with Julia in 1996. Two years later he was linked to his Three to Tango co-star Nev Campbell, while his first serious relationship is said to have been with bold and beautiful soap star Maeve Quinlan. Rachel Dunn Matthew was in a relationship with professional volleyball player Rachel Dunn for two years, with the pair an item when friends ended. They made several public appearances together, with actor one saying the former fashion student had changed his outlook on life. Speaking to the Evening Standard, Matthew said, With Rachel in my life, I know that I can be very committed and not some selfish guy who just wants to hang out with friends. I want to spend time with my girlfriend and explore what it means to have a much closer relationship than I've previously had time for. Lizzie Kaplan Matthew and Lizzie were together for six years, with the Friends actor and Mean Girls star beginning their romance under the radar in 2006. However, there were claims the relationship is the rocks in 2013 when Lizzie would not even entertain any questions relating to her partner during an interview, and covered her ears at the mention of his name. I can stand right next to paparazzi and I do that sometimes. I'm close with people who are far more famous, and they know how to avoid attention, she cryptically said. It later emerged they had split a year earlier. Why he never married the star never married, previously sharing the heartbreaking reason he never fully settled down. Matthew admitted he was plagued with intrusive thoughts and fears whenever he was involved with someone. I break up with them because I'm deathly afraid that they will find out that I'm not enough, that I don't matter, and that I'm too needy and they'll break up with me," he told GQ magazine ahead of the release of his autobiography. Determined to stay sober, he explained that he couldn't risk putting his emotions on the line as a split would annihilate me and I'll have to take drugs and that will kill me. That's why I break up with these wonderful women that have crossed my path," he added. Just me.